Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklit Educational Channel. So today we are going to discuss on the important topic of environmental science which is environmental microbiology. Yes, this topic is important as per the TNPCB exam is concerned and other examination related to environmental science and microbiology. So those who are appearing for TNPCB it will be a booster for them and you can also enjoy this video if you are not at all applying for the TNPCB exam but you want to know something about microorganisms and microbiology. So let's start today's video. So the most important thing inside the microbiology part is the fermentation. Yes, this technique and the questions are mostly asked from this part of the microbiology and we will know what is the basic meaning of fermentation. The so fermentation is the chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, yeast or other microorganisms. So most of the students are having doubt that only yeast is having fermentation technology but bacteria are there, other microbes are also involved in this fermentation technique. So what is the result? The result is involving effervescence that is mostly carbon dioxide, the bubbles come and the giving of heat. So heat is also released in this process of fermentation. And what? So do we need these two things only effervescence and the heat? No, we want certain desired product. So desired end product we need that is used in the industrial microbiology that is environmental in microbiology dealing in industries. So this process we are giving the microorganisms to grow a proper nutrient media. So we are giving proper food to the particular kind of microorganisms which we want to grow. So what we want to do? So we have to maintain a particular physico-chemical condition. That means physical condition and chemical condition. So chemicals are given and temperature, pH, all these things are maintained to get a desired end product. So end product means most of the students will be thinking this is fermentation that means we will be getting alcohol. So if this is not the case many things we are getting from the fermentation technique. So we will discuss in the next slide. So fermentation technology is the use of organisms, microorganisms to produce food, pharmaceuticals that is medicines and alcoholic beverages on a large scale industrial basis. So industries are working day and night to the manufacturing of this product by the help of these microorganisms. So we'll see what are the products. So these are the major fermentation products. So these are very important. You should know that because these questions are often frequently asked. So the thing is, what are the group of uh, things which we are getting from the microorganisms? What are the product and which organisms are mostly involved in the process? So we are getting industrial chemicals, for example, ethanol from Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Lactic acid is also produced from lactobacillus we have been learning since our childhood. So lactobacillus bulgaricus is one of the example for the production of lactic acid. So we know sometimes in our body also lactic acid is produced when we are doing much stressful work. So during exercise and all that's why we are having cramps because of lactic acid formation. Next coming into the enzyme past. So enzyme are very important product in the microorganisms which they are helping. So alpha amylase are produced from the bacillus subtilis, proteases are produced by the bacillus species and lipase are saccharomyces lipolyticas product from fermentation. Next comes we are getting, we are getting antibiotics from the microorganisms. Yes, fermentation by penicillium chrysogenium, the product is penicillin. Streptomycin we are getting from the Streptomyces griseus and one more important antibiotics we are getting is Chloramphenicol from Streptomyces venezuelae. So you should remember the first antibiotic produced if you are asking someone will say that it is Penicillium notatum but it is wrong. It should be Penicillium chrysogenium. You should remember that it is important. Next coming to the vitamins. So what vitamins we are getting from the SB agosipi species of microorganisms we are getting riboflavin. Vitamin B12 we are getting from Pseudomonas denitrificans and you should remember riboflavin is the vitamin B2 name and the vitamin B1 name is thiamine. So we should always connect our knowledge with the previous knowledge because it will enhance the revision technique that is connected revision. Let's move to the next slide. The next slide is the question answer which we will do along with the discussion part. So the question is which one of the following is called as the Brewer's yeast. So what is this Brewer's yeast and here the correct option will be option number B, Saccharomyces cerevisiae are known as Brewer's yeast because they are used for brewing that is to make produce beer and distillation so distilling to make alcohol used in wine making as well as baking bread so also used for baking bread so it is commonly known as Baker's yeast 
और ब्रियर सीज बेकर सीज बिकॉज दे आर यू हेल्पफुल फॉर बेकिंग इंडस्ट्री एंड ब्रियर सीज बिकॉज दे आर यूज टू प्रोड्यूस बियर सो इट इज ऑल्सो ए गुड सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन बी एज यू डिस्कस इट इज कंसिडर्ड ए प्रोबायोटिक सप्लीमेंट दैट हेल्प्स इन डाइजेशन सो इफ यू आर हैविंग डाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो इफ यू आर टेकिंग ब्रियर सीज देन इट विल हेल्प यू So the next question is the butanol is obtained by fermenting molasses by which of the following microorganisms group So you will be knowing ethanol is produced but it is asking what is butanol obtained from which of the microorganisms So here the correct option will be option number A yes clostridium butyricum and clostridium acetobutylicum are the reason the microorganisms which are fermenting the molasses to produce butanol so the main thing is you should remember here it is written butyl here also butyl so you can connect that butyl butyl butanol so these clostridium acetobutylicum you should know that these are also called as wiseman organisms so why because the scientist chem wiseman he discovered this and he discovered them as the biochemical tool to produce at the same time jointly the acetone ethanol and butanol from starch so these organisms are helpful to produce three things jointly at the same time so this method has been described as the abe process why because they are producing acetone butanol and ethanol from the fermentation of molasses by the help of this clostridium acetobutylicum so ab process you should remember yielding three parts of acetone six parts of butanol and one part of ethanol so these are the ratio let's move to the next question next question is yeast cells are good source of which of the following vitamins and here the correct option will be option number c yes yeast cells are good source of vitamin b and vitamin d let's move to the next question the next question is coming from the cheese part so there are varieties of cheese available in the market and those who are cheese lover they should know why these cheese are given different names so the cheese for example we'll take the question and then we'll discuss the roquefort cheese is ripened by which of the following organism So here you should know what is cheese ripening it is the basically about the breakdown of proteins lipids and carbohydrates present in the cheese which release flavor compounds so different flavors are the basic reason why these cheese are given different names and that the main reason is the different microorganisms are working on the cheese to give different flavors so here the correct option will be option number A penicillium roquefort is the microorganism responsible for the roquefort cheese formation so, so here from the name of that microorganism the name of the cheese is given roquefort similarly for example if it is given penicillium camembert is used for ripening of which of the following cheese so you can directly go camembert cheese will be the correct option as this species gives the name of this kind of cheese i hope you are clear so let's move to the next question the next question is unicelled microbes grown as source of proteins are called as what kind of proteins so here it is the basic question and the correct option will be option number b unicell means single cell so that way they will be called as single cell proteins so these are also important we should know what are the single cell protein the term single cell protein refers to the total protein extracted from the pure culture of microorganism so microorganism means yeast algae filamentous fungi and bacteria so all these things when they are cultured and they are grown with the proper media then it is called as single cell protein that method then it will be called as scp so when they are dried cells of microorganisms which are used as dietary protein supplement used by the bodybuilders and those who want to gain more protein and they are used as animal feed so animals are also given this and can be used for human feed as a protein supplement so they are also called as novel food or mini food it is also known as microbial protein as it is derived from the microbes and they are consisting of nucleic acids fats carbon hydrogen and oxygen compound vitamins and minerals so they are very very nutritious and protein rich let's move to the next question the next question is petroleum degrading species include which of the following species so here the correct option will be option number d all of the above so nocardia species of microbes micrococcus and penicillium are used for petroleum degradation so what is this petroleum degradation we will learn in the next slide and you should know pseudomonas putida so it is one of the frequent last question they are known as superbug because they are known to degrade the hydrocarbons 
found in the petroleum so they are helpful for cleaning the oil spill so the ships which are carrying the loads when they are having facing the breakage or they are meeting an accident then they are releasing petroleum which is causing devastating impact on the water life so aquatic organisms are affected so in that case these organisms are used for cleaning or making the oil spill lesser so the thing is how they are working so they are working from the microbial biodegradation process so you can see that here the pink color see that here the pink color denotes the oxygen circle and hydrogen are depicted as blue circles and the carbon is depicted as yellow circles so ch2 that is hydrocarbons from all are forming the carbon and hydrogen bonds so you can see here these are the hydrocarbons from oil and these are the oxidation so oxidation of hydrocarbon takes place with the help of this bacteria so this brown color is the oil droplet as you can see so this is the brown droplet and surrounding these are the microbes so as we have discussed it can be the pseudomonas put also so what they do is they take the oxygen from the water and they oxidize these hydrocarbons so oxidation of hydrocarbon release the hydrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide separately so water they are releasing and carbon dioxide they are releasing so they are not harmful but these hydrocarbons are harmful so they are breaking them into less harmful or totally unharmful products so these are the best way that the nature is able to clean the petroleum you should remember the equation is cnhn that is the hydrocarbon formula plus oxygen which are used by these microbes to give water and carbon dioxide so they are important elements in clearing the environmental pollutants so i hope you are clear let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following are rich source of protein so as we have discussed protein single cell protein are derived from the microbes so which of the following are rich source of protein and here the correct option will be option number a yes pyrulina species and chlorella species so these both are the forms of algae which are nowadays gaining popularity so it has been gaining popularity since long as the supplement food supplement in the world for protein so you should remember spirulina is used as the food supplement by the space aeronautics department so the astronauts those who are going to the space they are using this spirulina as their rich source of protein and they are also very limited and they are very precise and compressed in form let's move to the next question the next question is from the bacillus thuringiensis so this term you would have heard several times so we will know today about them more deeply the thing is bacillus thuringiensis is used as what kind of element so this is used as insecticide yes they are used to kill the insects or pest so they have been a revolutionary thing in the management of crops which are devastated by the pest so when such as let ex, let's example this is a brinjal so the brinjal is attacked by many pests so that's why the farmers were having great loss so what they did is they incorporated this bt that is bacillus thuringiensis this bacteria has a specific crystals inside the body so they took the gene of that bacillus thuringiensis and they incorporated inside the brinjal as well as many other crops such as cotton that is bt cotton bt brinjal so they are not yet recharged so to get recharge what they need to do when these insects they bite this plant the crystals get inside the pest so insects are engulfing the spores and the crystal then the toxin becomes activate the toxin binds to the specific receptors present in the gut and the insect stops eating so it stops eating the crops and this way the crop is saved and what happens is then the receptors starts breaking the gut wall and making the spores and normal gut bacteria to enter the body so from the gut these spores are moving into the body parts because they are damaged they are destroyed and as you can see here the pores are formed so these pores results in the proliferation of this bacterial gene and as a result this bacterial gene is able to multiply and the spores are able to divide and in the whole body they spread and this organism dies so in this way this bacillus thuringiensis this gene is able to help the crops prevent themselves from this insect so these are an important insecticide let's move to some of the mcqs related to microbiology environmental microbiology so the question is the smallest virus replicating autonomously in the eukaryotic cell is known as what so here the correct option will be it is called as sarcovirus next is infectious rna particle without protein coat is called as what so those are known as viroid 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नेम द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनिक एसिड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द माइक्रोबियल फर्मेंटेशन सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए लैक्टिक एसिड इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनिक एसिड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय माइक्रोबियल फर्मेंटेशन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अनाबेना दैट इज द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सर इज प्रेजेंट इन द रूट पॉकेट्स ऑफ व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्पीशीज सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी अनाबेना is present in the pockets of azola root pocket so you should remember nitrogen cycle is very important for the environmental science exam you should must you must remember the nitrogen cycle the carbon cycle sulfur cycle and all because they are very important this biogeochemical cycle and azola is a kind of fern so it is called as mosquito fern and it is also used as bio fertilizer next move to the next question the next question is the ability of the bacteria to change their morphological forms frequently is called as what So the correct terminology is pleomorphism. Yes, pleomorphism changes the shape and size of the bacteria as per the environmental condition. Next is the bacterial cell wall is made up of what? So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, peptidoglycan the material is the bacterial cell wall made up of. So these are the mesh of polysaccharide strands. So mesh means they form the nets of polysaccharide strands. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the use of living microorganisms to degrade the environmental pollutant is called as what? So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, bioremediation is the terminology given to the organisms, microorganisms or it can be plants to degrade environmental pollutants. So the most specifically if it is asking the plants which are used then you can say it is phytoremediation. but if it is asking microorganisms or other thing then you can go for bio remediation let's move to the next question the next question is agar agar is obtained from which of the following species so here the correct option will be option number c gelidium yes gelidium agar agar is also called as agar so gelidium which is a jelly like substances from the red algae that is gelidium species which is help Pull to grow bacteria in the culture plate. So you have seen in the culture plate we are using agar. So they are used to culture the particular bacteria in the culture media. So these were some of the important things related to environmental microbiology. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like this, don't forget to give a like and share this with your friends. Those who are preparing for the environmental science exam, and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now. so you can get the further links of important environmental science in the description below so go and check it out